Good afternoon, Sharks, from your distance learning headquarters at St. Francis High School. It's my privilege to welcome you to your first class meetings and congratulate you on finishing your first full week of distance learning. Today will be the first of many days and many ways we are constructing to help build community within your class and with your teachers. The four adults in charge of student leadership pillars, Mr. Krogan, Mrs. Lemus, Mrs. McLeod, and Mr. Castaneda will lead this afternoon's C period. Today, as we continue to process the effects of the pandemic, the Me Too movement, Black Lives Matter, and the upcoming election, let us not forget those in our community affected by the wildfires. We all know students, faculty and staff, and extended family that have been affected by it. We know that Coach Efren lost his home and belongings, and my brother and sister-in-law were evacuated from Scotts Valley last night and are now staying with us. So, I reached out to Bishop Danny and he sent a prayer for the California fire victims. So as we start all things, let's begin with the prayer, Sharks. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty God, who alone created the beauty and the bounty of our land, who cares and loves everyone, from the workers in the field to the owners of the field, be with your people in California now in the midst of the wildfires. Bring an end to the loss of lives and the loss of homes. Bring aid to the firefighters who, by serving others, serve you. Give them courage and strength to persevere, to find the ability in their bodies and souls to keep working for another day, another hour, another minute. Ease the winds that spread the flames and disperse the smoke that covers the sky. Bring hope to the displaced and the homeless. Keep alive inside their minds and hearts memories, the physical traces of which may be lost. Remind us that you are the promise of a new tomorrow. Bring rest and peace to those who have been lost and let their souls find eternal life with you and be a comfort and relief to the grieving. As the cities and homes are rebuilt, may no one be left behind. May all be remembered as you remember all. As you led the Hebrew people through the desert, lead your people now, God. From immigrants who face unique obstacles to farm workers who continue to labor in the fields despite dangerous smoke and the pandemic, and the families who have lost loved ones, help them be included and cared for as we rebuild, guided by your spirit. May our hearts never turn away from you or from each other in our time of need. May we see in you the faces of those in need. May we see your work in the hands of all those who reach out to help in the green, in the life that will soon return by your hand to our land. Amen. St. John Bosco, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Sharks, I will send a weekly video update this weekend but know how much we appreciate you holding yourself and your learning accountable. Yes, you completed your first week of distance learning, but I'm afraid that we will still be in this learning model for weeks to come. Being in class on time, positively participating, and continuing to learn is the best way we can help ourselves, our families, and our communities. These fires and the pandemic will end someday soon, and we need to keep moving forward together. Sharks, remember, we are stronger together and together matters. God bless, go Sharks, and have a great class meeting. Take care.